It's like we can't talk anymore. We're always fighting. Is it really that bad for you and Grace? Well, since Rick's turned up. Can you blame her though? I mean, he walked out on her and her mother when she was dying. I mean, we've all lost parents, but can you imagine losing a sibling as well? Yeah, I went for it with my sister, Bria. She was older than me, and she raised me more than my parents did. Priya was a laid-back spirit. She worked for a humanitarian aid organisation, always helping people other than herself. It was her that first explained to me about the virus. I knew there was always a chance she'd be summoned to do some work, but I always thought she'd tell me first. Then one day I came down to breakfast to find this letter. Xander, I am so sorry for only leaving this letter, but my time was brief. I can't tell you where I'm going because I'm not sure myself. You may not think it now, but you're lucky to be where you are at this time. Not all kids have governments who will care for them. They are either too unorganized or too corrupt. That's where I've gone, to help give these kids a chance to survive once the adults are gone. They need my help more than you do. I know you'll be fine. Make me proud, little brother. Love, Priya. She is anymore. Farah's probably got her. Shouldn't you be telling Grace this? I've tried, but with everything going on, it just seems to be drifting apart. Are you really so upset by that?
There are no letters to hold us back We're free to do whatever we please Civilization is all and gone Out of the window forever forgotten Battles galore We don't want freedom anymore So tell me how in the world will we stay alive?